shaky restart, but they did enjoy a much-needed win against Southampton. And there's David Luiz making his way in. That's the big bit of team news, really. He starts today for the... But as far as McBurney and the strikers are concerned, they'll be interested in one of the five changes that Mikel Arteta makes for Arsenal, because David Luiz, the much-discussed David Luiz, is back as one of those five Arsenal changes. It looks like that would be part of a back three with Sead Kalasinac and Stadium Sand. However you're listening, you will be listening in the brilliant company of Steve McManaman and Darren Fletcher. Gentlemen, enjoy the match, it's a big one. It is, Jay, thank you. As you say, Bramble Lane would normally be raucous and colourful for a quarter-final game in the FA Cup. It was clearly over the line for those that saw it and the VAR and the technology wasn't working. I think that sums up their restart. Right, the ghost goal. Yes. Well, as we've seen in English football. <laughs> and away we go with Arsenal in yellow going from left to right looking to pick up where they left off with the victory in the league a much needed one as well the confident display against Southampton as his team faced their first test here from a set piece it was curled in really quite delicious Goldrick it's inside the penalty area lays it off and Jack Robertson it was the finals they've been involved in Follow-up corner to the far post. Oh, and it's there for Sheffield United. It's the first goal for them in the restart. John Lundstrom from about a yard. He won't care, nor will Chris Wilder. Sheffield United strike early. Well, it's not defended well at the back post here. I, I looked at the goalkeeper first and foremost. Maybe it was a little bit too high for him to come. Look at his starting position. Yeah, it is. It's just a little bit too high for him. McBurnley challenging at the back post, Jack are picking him up. It's McBurnley's galore. Long throws are always weapons too for Sheffield United, and that almost paid a rich dividend. McGoldrick just stretching to get there. Good grief, that took me. Now Saka. Pepe taking it around the corner. And serving it in towards a near post where Lacazette was trying to arrive. Take the corner. Well, I think he'd like to have that back. Saka across the line to Tierney. A stiff challenge and in the penalty. end... Oh, it's a penalty. It was yep. inside the penalty area. Yep. La Lacazette just gets there ahead of Basham, I think it is, in the FA Cup. Pepe against Henderson. And Pepe delivers coolly slotted home from the spot and Arsenal have the lead in the cup at Bramall Lane well it's a very well struck penalty here not a huge run up but excellent technique plenty of five that period and uh, and moved on to now be in command The scare from the McGoldrick, but it's been pretty comfortable. And Pepe trying to make it even more comfortable and would have done. Good. Well, Sheffield United looking to. Well, that's that's incredible. Should have been a free kick to Arsenal there. Well, that will be a free kick to Arsenal. And a book. Quite sure why, but here's the free kick for Arsenal. It worked from Saka, but that oh, that's a that's a back pass. Well. Comes the corner, and is not tested from that. Yeah, he had to miss the game against his parent club during. Saka got past the first challenge, but not the second. I was a guy that I worked with back in the day at Derby County. Where he went on to work with David Moyes at Everton for many a year. He was at Man United with David Moyes by Henderson and it 
reacted enough to repel the initial threat and then Tierney's follow-up shot skews wide but has squeezed through against Norwich City yesterday McBurney and he goes down and that was a clash yeah. of heads and they're going to need attention very quickly on the field here Berger the substitute on oh, uh, at least Emiliano Martinez forced into Robinson little deflected cross is up for grabs Berger trying to get on the end of it the substitute and he's done nicely to pick out Tierney his cross returns and it was a sweeping move oh, he said that Craig he's a backup who could be uh, looking at prolonged spell in Pepe to employ that left foot again and he did find David Luiz he needed to Pepe riding the first challenge trying to escape the second he goes down tangler legs but and I think Arsenal have to move in a different direction to McGoldrick now Egan I just shepherded back to my the crew from ESPN FC will recap it next Forty-five minutes away from a, a Wembley FA Cup semi-final, Arsenal. Uh, the Jake mentioned how quiet it is inside Bramwell Lane. What well, we did get a blast off for the Arsenal defence. It's in towards McBurney and flicked on, and it was held onto by uh, Emmy Martinez. That's twice they've gone yeah. for that long. Same towards McBurney. McGoldrick keeps it alive for Sheffield United. Now Berger, Bulldog, quickly as possible cause problems a good cross by Berger and it was well defended by Mustafi because David McGoldrick wasn't that far away it's Sander Berger who came on in the first half for the injured John Lundstrom free oh. kicks gonna be given to Lee Norwood it's a good ball in towards Egan and good goalkeeping uh, over there by Emmy Martinez who made his mind up early that he was gonna come and deal with that Bit of space for John Fleck, who are down there warming up. Yeah, David Luiz, as you can see, is struggling, gone down. There's a clumsy challenge from behind by McBurney that he was. Strong challenge by Kelly trying to suck the ball into the back of the net. That's a fantastic delivery. The flag's up again. The flag's gone up. It was a brilliant ball in though by North. Henderson looking for the long clearance through, and it just concerned Emmy Martinez. It almost Robinson. Plenty to aim at. Yeah. Bernie was one. Oh, what a chance for Basham. What a chance for Tierney. Tierney shoots, and the ricochet in the end. Help the home side. Stab through here to McBurney and quickly out Martinez. It just needed to be a better, better ball, ball from Stevens. Better ball, Fletch. It's an easy ball. In the end, end Steve. To get the cross in, which he was able to do. Xhaka can hit one, and it was a really important block by Robinson. Really travelling that from Granite Xhaka. Yeah, it was on target. It was a nice hit by him with his right foot. Bit in the area there. Took the time, one touch too many, Arsenal win, the throw in. Asinac, it's a good ball forward as well by Saka, and that's a late challenge by Robinson on Nketiah, and that's a straightforward yellow card. Yeah, that was an easy one for the for Paul Tini. Usual delivery from over there on the left-hand side, it's actually too long. There's the chance, oh, it's in! It's McGoldrick, and this time the flag stays down, and they've had the ball in the net three times today, but at last one's going to count. And it comes about from the long throw in from the left hand side that Arsenal didn't deal with. And David McGoldrick scores. And it's a big, big goal that for Sheffield United. Yeah, and it's an Arsenal mistake, it's say uh, Kalasinac. Just doesn't clear his lines. Everybody gets caught with the Evans with the challenge. Here's Danny Ceballos. He's got two to pick out. He didn't need anybody else. It's Danny Ceballos with an injury time goal that might well be the winner for Arsenal. And just when Sheffield United were applying all of the pressure, 
Danny Ceballos, the player on loan from Real Madrid, scores his second goal of the season to make it Sheffield United 1, Arsenal 2. Yeah, it's a wonderful finish. Tỷ số của trận đấu vẫn đang là không đều. Như vậy là hiệp hai đã bắt đầu. Hiệp một đang diễn ra rất sôi nổi với nhiều tình huống.